In this section we talk about the motion transform node. This node is mainly used to transform the instance. Based on the animate attribute. When not connected to animate, transform values will be applied directly to the instance. Let's concatenate a value and see how it works. You will find that this is somewhat similar to the mix node. 0 is the input value, 1 is the original transformation. Let's replace them with animate attribute. You can also switch between local and global space. You can also pass animati attribute to materials. Please make sure the two animate indexes are the same. Usually keep the default. Only modify it when multiple animate attributes that need to be passed. Add a color amp node after it. And you can modify the color of the instance based on the animation. Pivot point is for text curves. Now, replace the motion array node with string to curves. You can add some thickness to it using motion textile. You will notice that the default pivot point is in the lower left corner. You can modify the pivot point in string to curves and connect it to the corresponding pivot point. Therefore, it allows motion transform to get the pivot point of the text curve to maintain the correct transformation. In addition, you can also follow the instances to the curve. For example, we create a new curve in the scene. Remember to connect the rotation. This will get the rotation information of the curve, then switch to relative mode. The reverse curve option controls whether the instance is inside or outside the curve.
you can use offset to control the position of the text on the curve. In the next section, we will explain motion noise, which can quickly generate random animations for you.